Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. This video we are planning for the month of October using my October monthly mystery kit here as shown. I am so in love with this mystery kit color. Like I think this is my favorite by far out of all the kits I've done. I think it's because of the color itself. I do like dark colors and I do like the the light color that it plays off it and it complements each other very well. The kit that I'll be using is my Happy Planner Glossy, obviously because I do plan in my Happy Planners, but this is the glossy version. And these are the new date numbers and from my previous video I did ask you guys if you guys prefer it this way or the circle dots and majority rules that you guys like it this way than the dots. The dots are a bit updated I guess you could say haha -ha. um, but yes yeah, so going forward we are going to have cutouts of the numbers instead of dot dates let's start planning I'm pretty sure I sound like an old broken record by now but for those who are new to my channel and new to these videos there's a specific way that you lay down my stickers because my stickers are die cut and they are layered so it's very important on how you place your sticker down. So firstly you always place your sidebars. The sidebars come with five option stickers for you to play around with, two big and one small. So you can always do two big and one small but in different orders. I, I'm pretty sure you understood how I was saying. What I'm trying to say is that there's five stickers for you to pick from and out of the five stickers there's two big ones and one small one to make up the sidebars so once you've selected what you like on your sidebar the other two stickers actually fit in your weekly spread so it won't be a waste don't worry you could use them or incorporate them into your weekly spread Next are the blank date box. So for the month of October, all the blank date box is at the bottom of the month. And gently peel. I was about to rip my stickers too. So yes, as you can see, it's die cut. So gently peel them. And you just position them. And lastly, your title pages, no, title bars. I am really enjoying the gold foil on the monthly pages or for the monthly view. The reason for why I do enjoy it is because of the dates, like the sun, the week dates, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Sometimes when I do do designs, the weekdays tend to get lost in the design itself and sometimes you may not see it but when it's foiled like this it stands a little bit more and plus it add a little elegance to the weekly no sorry to the monthly view too and ta-da there you go i love it love it love it love it love it okay so Next, I put down the holidays. You could do whatever you want to do after this step. You could put down your important dates or anything, but I usually like to put down the holidays. As I mentioned before in the October Mystery Kit unboxing that I did include a Canadian holiday with the kit for everybody. Um, I know for the Americans, their Thanksgiving is in November, so it doesn't hurt to have an extra sticker for that month. Right now, I'm using the washi strip that comes with the monthly view to mark off my vacation. Not really vacation, but I will be away from home. And I'm just marking off the duration of it. And also, another fun fact, but I'm pretty sure most of you have heard this before. Washi tapes is also the same size as your headers in your weekly views. So if you don't use it in your monthly view, you can always use it in your weekly views. So here I'm marking off another travel date. By the end of October, I'll be traveling overseas to China for a conference slash expo slash show for business. It's, I don't know, I'm having mixed feelings with this because I'm excited to go see what's out there and visit some factories. But at the same time, I know I'll miss my little ones. I'll be away for 10 days and 
Oh, I don't know. Like me going away from London for just five days, I already missed them like crazy after two days there. So with this traveling for 10 days, I don't know how I'll cope, but at the same time, I'm so excited to see what's in the future or what's to come. But I know my little ones will be in good hands because my husband's here and plus my in-laws are coming down to help him out too. So that I'm not worried, but I just know I worry for myself because I just will miss them miss hugging them, miss kissing them. Okay, that's enough about me. So what I usually like to do, I like to also add in these arrow flags to show that, just to make it pop out more when it starts and when it ends. As you can see here, I like to use the same color flags too, so it coordinates with each other. October is my birthday month, so you can see my birthday is the 13th and it's on Friday 13th. So I never thought of that as a bad luck day or being superstitious for that day being bad luck because majority of my life, my, my birthday do land on Friday the 13th and I don't think it's bad. And there will be some sort of flash special sale going on pretty sure that weekend too. So just keep an eye out and sign up or join our mailing list if you haven't done so. I do exclusive email sales and discount too. So sign up if you don't want to miss out. And I promise I don't bombard your mailbox. I do not spam you guys. Like if, <laughs> if you do know other people who do sign up, I literally just send you guys maybe once every month, once every three weeks, that's it. I just placed some functional icons down to show and indicate how I'll be traveling or what that duration is. So for example, for the date of Friday the 6th till the 9th, we'll be traveling by car up to my in-laws for Thanksgiving weekend and having Thanksgiving with them. And then I just put a passport icon at the bottom because I will be traveling by plane and I do need my passport and visa, which I've done already, so yay! Oh, I apologize if you think that I'm very chatty today. I feel like I'm really chatty in this video, but I don't know, I just feel very chatty right now. So I apologize if I'm getting on your nerves or if I'm talking too much. And most of this is not really planner related, but I apologize and I promise I will stop now. Okay, October 23rd, I have an order that is due that day that needs to be out in the mail because it's for a planner meetup. And I think the due date was um, literally right before I got back from my trip to China. So I decided to do it before I leave to make sure that it's out of the way. So people who are going to the Winter Planner Land events, you'll be seeing a few freebies there from us. Okay, once the important dates are down, I like to put my bill dues and payday stickers. Once that's down, I like to plan our weekly, weekly, I wish it was weekly, bi-weekly date nights. But seeing that we'll be away for the first week of the month, I decided to put the two date nights back to back because I'll be traveling on the week after of the first date night. So it's, it's the only way. Once I have most of the major things down, I like to look for empty spots in the my calendar or in my monthly view and place my hello October hello month sticker there just to fill up the spot that's all and I figured my birthday and the day before my birthday is actually my in-laws anniversary so I figured it needs a little bit glamming up so I added some foiled banners and they are from add a little shine shop and almost forgot that my cleaners are coming on Tuesday, every other Tuesday, so I have to put that down just to make sure that... Okay, I don't know, but do you guys, if you guys do hire a cleaner, but do you guys clean for the cleaner? Like, it sounds crazy, but I do do that, and my husband thinks I'm crazy sometimes when I do do that. It's not like a thorough cleaning, but it's just like moving stuff off of my dresser or moving things off of my counter or putting things away just to make it or tidy up a bit. Am I crazy? I don't think so. I think it's, it's etiquette, right? <laughs> and I like to use my monthly view as my garbage and recycling schedule so I know when and where to post 
compost to bring the garbage or recycling out. I also like to indicate when I like to change my bed sheets, so I will be changing them right before I leave and two weeks before then. And I think I have everything down, so I'm just gonna quickly write everything in before I forget. And now it's my favorite part is to pop them back into my planner. I hope you guys enjoy this October monthly plan with me. Just a little quick reminder that the November mystery kit is on pre-sale now, October 1st till November, no, till October. When you do purchase the kit during the pre-sale, shipping is always free shipping worldwide, but after October 9th, everything is on regular price and shipping is not included. Before we go, I want to show you guys the Erin Condren version. So those of you who did buy Erin Condren version, this is how it will look like. Um, this is my test book, my test Erin Condren book. For any kits that I do print out, I always test them out there just to make sure the measurements and stickers are correct. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I do hope you enjoy this video. And I will see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.